Hi friends. Hey Gant. Hey. We're uh, friends. We're excited. We're flying down the Parkway, the Inland Highway, going down to Merville. It's called Merville. And uh, yeah, there's Cumberland and Merville and Whiskey Creek and. We're a bit past Whiskey Creek now, aren't we? Uh, Whiskey Creek's right over there, I think. Yeah. Anyway, friends, just a quick update. We're just ripping down the highway here. We're excited. I'm excited. This guy's got some wicked axes. Wicked. Oh, well, I know. Look at it out. It's it, the day is outrageous. Day. Nice, oh. nice and sunny. Oh, cold out, but yeah. it is a bit chilly, isn't it? Yeah. Pine trees, old growth, snow cap. Look at these old growth, sunny. So here's our shot here. Yeah, the whole patch is old growth, it's just dwarfed. Yeah, look at this. This got logged a while uh, back on the hump there. But look at that big old growth they left on the corner there. Look at how much it towers above the rest. You can you can see the old growth residual trees, friends. They they really stand out. You can see two right there too. Anyway, over No. She says this is too cold, honey. Look at this nice second growth timber sun. Isn't that nice? Yeah. They got some hemlock. Hey, how you doing there? This, this is Merville. No, it's not Merville. I'm kidding. We're in Merville, friends. We're up at a man named Col it's Colby Owen. Am I correct? That's the truth. Mr. Colby Owen, and we're going across his bridge he made. I'm gonna let him go first, and then I'm gonna go across. And he's even got a rope on it, friends. Yes, and we've got a couple axes now. If I'm not mistaken, our uh, our good friend Colby has a a Lamica axe. Oh, and Hogan has it. Hi, son. And this is Lamica. So this is this is a kind of a this is a new axe. Uh, Colby, how long have these been out uh, on on the market? Ooh, two months maybe. Yeah, so it's that new. Very new. Yeah. Very new. Everybody, say hi to Colby. He's an axe man, and he has the most incredible axe collection I have personally ever seen. I haven't seen a lot of axe collections, but I have been to the GBA shack of axes, I call it, and that blew my mind. His store, his store, his axes are beautiful. He's got some really cool specimens. Um, so we're up in here, Merville. So if you wanted. Deep Merville. We're in Deep Merville. The real Mervilites, they'll be like, gotcha. where do you live? Do you live in Merville or Deep Merville? Okay, gotcha, because it wasn't on any signs. So you could just call it Deep Merville. We're in Deep Merville, friends, and the Lamica Axe, uh, my my new friend here, and Axe, what's that word the guys use? Axe extravagant or something? Or uh, I forget the word I'm looking for, but anyways. Cohort? Uh, yeah, it's Axe Cohort, Axe Buddy, Axe Nerd. Uh, nice fellow. He's... Um, he is the axe handle maker for Lamica. And Lamica has just hit the world uh, as a new axe company. Uh, the man who actually forges these axes, uh, he is in Latvia, Marcus Lapines. And, and he's an amazing blacksmith. He is an amazing blacksmith. He, he did North uh, Northman's axes. He North did. Boss. He used to work for Autin, and and Marcus has forged got to be over two thousand axes now. Hand forge, real hand forge. Yeah, the old school you know, hammer, anvil. We're not talking power hammers and die yeah. forges. And yes, friends, that's amazing. So he he, I can tell by the edge on this thing, it's beautiful. So this is a nice axe. This is a really really nice axe. It is about two pounds. 1.8, I believe. 1.8, 1.9, you're right in that range, yep. So it's a 1.8, 1.9. It's an old school, very nice looking. It's got that old hand forged look. Now these handles, friends, I am so joyous to meet this man <laughs> because of this. Look at the handle. I watched a video and the man's name is Lane. It's just a big shout out for Lane and Lamica right now and for Axe guys. Lane is a freaking axe nerd. He goes in deep, don't you, Lane? I know you do, brother. We all share a different piece of this thing, the, the, the axe. We, I'm a user. I'm an axe user. I appreciate the history. Obviously, you'd be a nut not to. 
but people shine in different areas. And this man Lane, from what I've seen, I've only watched a couple of his videos, but uh, he's very scientific. He's right into the thing and he's come up with some nice products here. And I think he's pretty close to being on the ball here with some of this stuff. I like what I'm seeing. So Lane, good job. Uh, Lamica. I'm excited. We're going to go out and cut a tree down with this little ox after his son drops it on his toe. <laughs> Sharp stuff. See you in the trees. Bushcraft. How we doing? How we doing, everybody? How we doing? Buck and Billy Ray here out in a little field of alders in deep, deep Merville, Vancouver Island. Anyways, friends, I'm just kind of goofing off. Uh, I'm with a buddy of mine right now. Uh, he makes axe handles for, it's Colby, Colby Owen. You guys heard me rambling about him uh, on the Instagram thing. And you guys went over and seen him on his, at his Instagram. He texted me right after that. He goes, this must be from you. And you have the new followers. Thank you for doing that. Um, so what this is, friends, is I was watching, uh, I'm an axe guy, obviously. And uh, I was watching the internet, looking at some axe stuff. And I see this character, very enthusiastic man, very scientific brain, thinking about ways to maybe not enter the market because he was already in the market. Here he is, Lamica Axes. It's three men. The man that I'm excited to meet today is the man you're standing right next to, I am. And Lane apparently is kind of the man behind this, is he not? We got it all together, Lane's team leader. Lane is the team leader of Lamica Axes and he's got a channel, friends, and I'm gonna give the man a shout out. I don't give many shout outs, but I'm gonna give this man a shout out. His name's Lane and it's Sisyphus? Bushcraft Sisyphus. Lane Packwood, Bushcraft Sisyphus on YouTube. Bushcraft Sisyphus. We'll put a link. So we'll, we'll link We'll put a it, link friends. so you don't, don't gotta try and spell that. that. Yeah. 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 Lane's probably going Sisyphus, 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 you silly bugger. So anyways. <laughs> Um, friends, this is their axe, and it is glorious. It is a beautiful, beautiful axe. If you're an axe man, uh, it, it just is. It, it's hand-forged, old school, really. My style axe, actually, really like it. So we're just going to smack an axe, smack a tree or two down with it. It's got a great edge. Apparently, these keep a nice edge. Lane, how are you doing, buddy? <laughs> I get yeah. going, my hands are going to fall oh, off it's, here. It's cold out, friends. Cold. So, so I'm going to go crack a tree down here, but I know I'm going to heat up real fast. So I'm going to... Sonny, do you want to show them kind of what we got here? Yeah, a bunch of alders here we got. Yeah, so you're going to cut one up and it's just going to hang up. So we're just going to basically take two. And I just put my coat hanger here just so you can see what's going on. Let's get rid of some bramble. little directional falling. I feel like grabbing those couple a little, but ah. we'll leave them. We'll push through. Wanna have a look at that, son? <laughs> and the This thing slices through the wood, okay? I'm just telling you right now. This is a chopper. It's a, it's a chopper. It's a nice little chopper. We got bramble. So we're gonna slice this thing down. Now I just come in the back. That'll probably go. quite oh yeah it's gone <laughs> just lumberjacking it up right now
There she goes. There she goes. Oh, boom! Yeah, almost. Almost. <laughs> She's hung up there pretty good. Okay. We could probably probably just toss that thing out of there. That's what I want to do. Push it. So close. Oh, there she is. Oh yeah. Get out of there. Oh. So tight quarters, eh? <laughs> <laughs> nice axe. Make well, there's that short thing. work of it. Yeah, but what I mean, is that? Oh, your phone. Wow. This this wood's dead. Look at that bite. That thing cuts. Yeah. I know. That's nice. Now, this green wood will cut probably twice as fast. Look oh, at yeah. that. Ooh. You're almost all the way through. Look at that. <laughs> like nothing. That's beautiful. Isn't that lovely? It's nice. Wanna try it, Sunny? Sure. It's short. That's got a nice little edge on it, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sharp axe works better than a dull axe, eh? Doesn't it? It's nice. It's got a great edge. Bushcraft with Billy. Bushcraft with Billy. <laughs> I'm just dying to go ape, ape. <laughs> Grab that little one behind you, bud. Hey? Grab the little one behind you. Oh. 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 One dig. <laughs> Dad's got a son. <laughs> oh, you still rolling? Yeah. Oh, how you doing there, everybody? I asked you if you wanted to shut it down, and you... Just hey, started swearing at okay, me. On a, <laughs> on a finishing note, Lane, and the rest of you fellas, okay, including Crazy Wild Merville here. I call him Merville because <laughs> I just like the name. It's Colby. The guy makes a wicked handle. Uh, if you get a hold of him, have you got email? I do. 
Okay, well, if they get a hold of you and say, this is what I tell you to tell these people because they're crazy because they're coming for you now. They're like that, this community. People should get a hold of me on Instagram. That's, that's a good Instagram. place. I, I think I'm going to sell my stuff on Instagram okay. too. That's, that's a good place. So tell them either yes or no. Yes. I'm going to be able to, I'm yes. going to be able to do you yes. or I'm too busy. I can't do it. Sorry, not right now. Check back. Just tell them square out. Unless like 10,000 people, 10,000 of your people come to me and they all need handles. I'm going to help them. I'm going to get handles. Beautiful. For sure. Beautiful. So yeah. there we go for, he makes a really, really nice handle. I'm, this is my handle guy now, straight up. Yeah. Him, I still deal with, um, uh, Brandon, don't get excited. We all know one another. Brandon, I love your handles. I freaking love them. They're a little more skookum, and I like that for selling axes. I love the 32 with the big the big swell. So th between this man and, uh, and my buddy Brandon, which is Whiskey River, everybody knows that. I believe in spreading the love, and I know you agree with that. It's Absolutely. nice to it's spread a, the love it's a big around. It's world. It is a big world. Good morning, everybody. You know, it's funny. Uh, I, I don't want to forget about my good buddy from Beaver Tooth Handle Company, neither. Just to, just because we're talking about this, when I was watching this and, and, and building the video, we're talking about this new handle fella, uh, Colby, and, um, and Whiskey River, because I've been dealing quite a bit there. But listen, friends, and Beaver Tooth, if you're watching this, I use... I like to spread the love around. I, I do. I don't. I find certain handles are are better, actually, for certain eyes in axes like beaver tooth double bits. I don't care who you are and where you're from. They're dandy. They work really good for the Kelly, uh, the, the true temper stuff. Kelly works and all that stuff. The narrower eyes, you hafters, you know what I'm talking about. Um. I've got a system with the beaver tooth handles where I get his handles. We always customize our own stuff anyways. That's what it's all about. Uh, my friend Colby here, he's, he sells an eye. It's almost like a blank, like the eye is. It, it, it puts a lot of work on the hafter. So he's selling handles uh, to guys who are, you know, they want to kind of form and shape their own eyes in that. They're not a completely finished handle. Um the haft itself is, but at the at the eye part, it's not. It's up to the hafter. So beaver tooth. I I I wasn't comfortable with not saying your name in this video because you are part of my puzzle. I call it a puzzle, and I believe that we we have this this big I don't even know the word a matrix of people uh, that that we have and that are part of our puzzle in business and in life. And Beaver Tooth has been an integral part of my axe program. And I just didn't feel comfortable not mentioning Beaver Tooth, my buddy, uh, in, in this video. Uh, yeah. Over and out, friends. Beaver Tooth, I love you, buddy. All the handle guys that I always deal with, you're all a major part. Because handles, friends, let's be honest. When you pick up an axe, think about this for a minute. Think about it. You guys always see me pick up an ax and I go, oh yeah, or, or mm -hmm. you can tell. You can tell by by when I pick up an ax about how I feel about that ax instantly if you know me and if you see my, my body language. Friends, it's in the handle. The piece of steel, absolutely. And the geometry and the bit and how it's going to go through the wood, absolutely. The handle is way more important than a lot of people think. It, it truly is, friends. It's what's in your hands. You're not handling the bit. So handles are huge. And uh, yeah, over and out, everybody. I'm excited about this. Very excited about yesterday's journey. Over and out. We'll see you guys in the next one. It is a big world. And there's lots of people doing lots of good things out there. This axe is one of them. I, I can't say anything bad about this axe. I'm not a small axe guy in general. But if I were, I'd have no problem using this axe. The handle's gorgeous. The weight distribution, for those of you who follow me and those of you who know me, friends, yeah, right? We know what this is. We know what that means. It's a good axe. It's got very nice balance. Sits in the hand nice. And you just seen what it did to that. Oh. oh it's a small axe. It's a, it's a bushcraft axe. You know, you could split straight grain wood and do your little crafty stuff with it. Bucking wouldn't go by this axe, personally. But when you guys get this bigger one you're talking about, that's what I'm going to be after, I think. I'll try it.
because I think I'm gonna collect axes now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks everybody. Give them a shout. Check them out. out here. You guys have seen this axe plenty of times. We're gonna go see the handle place, his handle shop, we're gonna see how it works. But I wanna just show you this, how this thing works. It's my little two and a half pound GBA, a beautiful specimen, an example of a two and a half pound freaking little GBA. I'm just gonna do a little bit here. Use the phone as my eye protection here. <laughs> my visor. It's a lovely little eye. <laughs> Thanks, friends. Catch you on the next one. I'm following you around. So, friends, I just want to take a minute because I told you that, that this for me is this guy is Axe. I'm almost thinking of just calling him Axe. I mean, he's got all kinds of names already for me. Uh, but the, the man has. Only known a couple hours. Yeah, and I mean, friends, you know, he's got, uh, we're talking labeled axes from the 30s, 40s. Um, I mean, it's friends, it's just like, look at this. You know, look at this stuff. So I, I'm in my freaking glory right now. So we've done this already. Look at this beautiful little pulp axe. Look at that little Walters. I mean, look at this, friends. So, so for me, for him to allow me to come up here, I want you to know I'm grateful for the, for the opportunity. Yeah, brother. I mean, straight up, as this is just to me. I'll tell you right now, um, you've got one of the beautiful collections of axes I've ever seen. Uh, the GBA, uh, I guess they call it the museum. I was there, and it was, it was spectacular, obviously. But I'm not going to go through all of this, friends. We are going to come back and see this, man. But it, it's endless, and... and Look at this, friends. Look at this. All wetterlings. Original wrapping paper that they wrapped oh, the axes fun. in. Don't touch that. See? Hogan's telling me not Get to touch greasy, it. Greasy human mittens off it. Get your human mittens off it, he says. Freaking oils and greases and he, off your hands. He restores and does his thing. and It's just glorious in here. It's glorious. He's got... I've been on a I've, I've been on a quest for the Tasmanian head lately, and he's got some here. Look at that beautiful axe, friends. So I I, I told you I'd come up and, and give you a, a little peek at this. Here, here's the Lamica axe. Here here's our here's our Lane our Lane man again. Bushcraft Sisyphus Sisyphus. I don't know how to spell it, but we'll link it for you. And we'll give Big Lane a shout out uh, because it's an axe. And I'll tell you something else right now, friends. I'm going to tell you something. Um, these axes, these men, uh, as far as what I can see, what they're selling these axes for are making no money. They're not. I, I don't I don't know how they can do it. Um, this these guys are, are, are about the axe. I don't shoot off a boat just anybody and these guys are nice this fellow i'm meeting today is a great guy i've seen lane uh on on, on the internet i don't know him personally uh seems like a great guy hey he's a freak about axes he's probably all right in my books right sit around my campfire any day but and and the blacksmith he's a blacksmith it's plain and simple he's cool he's cool in my books but he's got a reputation already in the industry so the lamica axes are nice the edge is deadly we were just out cracking some alder with it beautiful we're gonna go over and see the handle maker with the machine we're gonna go there now but i didn't want to leave this place without showing you guys this this guy's into axe big time um colby th that's a 200 hundred dollar american axe or pardon me not the the the, the one we were swinging around the light forest axe, the light forest axe is a 200 hundred dollar american axe that's cheap right cheap it's crazy cheap yeah like friends uh Listen, I'm, if you're looking for a small axe like that, this is an excellent option. It's an excellent option. Um, my GBA that I was swinging out there, my hand, my little GBA, I, I wouldn't even, not even think of selling that thing for $200. Wouldn't happen. Uh, my axes are way more expensive than that. I couldn't do it. I give them away. I'll just give axes away. 
Um, you know, when it's time for giveaways, that's why we do that. We give the axes away. Get the axes out there. But these guys are hardly making any dough on these things. They're nice axes. Look at this double bit. Look at this Lamica double bit. Look at it. I mean, this is this is beautiful. The, the edges are wicked. I'll tell you that right now. I mean, there's not much use for these are good little bush axes if you're a double bit guy. Um, you know, here's a big gorilla. He's got this man's got axes. I mean, I love it. You know, we won't go through it all right now. We will be back. But we're talking labeled axes, friends, everywhere. All old axes. I haven't even look at this, Mr. Puget. You know, GBA stuff. It's just, it's endless. We're going to head over to the axe handle. That machine is called a copy lathe. Is that yes, correct? Yes. It's a copy lathe. We're going over there, see over there in a flash. So here we are at Colby's. He's just turned on the dust extractor. We are literally, I have always, always wondered what this was like. He has a copy lathe with a couple of big motors on it. He has his glasses on. I call him Merville. Sometimes I call him Axe. So it's like a hand process to see the cutter is in to start. I gotta ease him in. Look at this, friends. Then we just got down here and he gave Hogan an axe handle. 
Nice ball up. Lane, catch on the flip side. Lamica axis. I like this little thing. I'm, I'm not a bush trap guy. I'm, I'm not a small axe guy. But if you're a small axe guy, uh, this is a 24 inch handle. It's a little short for what I like. Uh, I just wouldn't really have a use for it. But if you do, this is a very affordable hand forged axe. It's a gorgeous little axe. So Lane, that's your shout out. Take care, brother. Over and out, friends. Be kind to everybody. You meet people on the street. We'll see you on the next video. Over and out. Say bye, boys.